Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Catherine here and I am going to do a recipe for y'all today. I am going to share my chicken crust pizza recipe. So I've shared this before about a year ago, but I've had a lot of new followers since then and this is one of my easy go-to recipes for when I am craving pizza because pizza is literally one of my all-time favorite foods. I literally just uploaded a video yesterday about pizza, but you can never have enough pizza recipes, especially when they fit in on the keto diet and you're not even, you know, cheating. It's just your everyday meal. So let me stop talking and let's get to cooking. This is going to be a pretty simple recipe. It doesn't take very long to put together, just a little while to cook in the oven. Currently, I have my oven preheating to 400 degrees while we get the crust ready to stick in the oven. So, the first thing we have to do is make the crust of this pizza. It's very simple to throw together. It's going to be just three ingredients. So this is one pound of ground chicken. This was literally the only package of ground chicken they had. One pound, perfect. Next up, I have some shredded Parmesan cheese right here. And lastly for the crust, you're going to need some shredded mozzarella cheese. So these are all the three ingredients you need for the crust. Let's get into cooking. The first thing I'm going to do is remove the cover off of my ground chicken and throw it into a plastic bowl. And make sure you don't accidentally leave the little piece of paper in there to get, you know, mixed in with your chicken. Also, meat safety, since I just touched where raw meat was touching, gotta go wash my hands before I touch these other ingredients. No cross-contamination, guys. So for this next part, I am going to use my scale right here because we're gonna put one fourth of a cup of each of our cheeses into the bowl. So what I'm going to do is put my bowl with the ground chicken on it, put it on the scale, turn the scale on, and it will set to zero grams. So one fourth of a cup of this mozzarella cheese is 28 grams. So all I have to do is open up my bag and I can easily measure out 28 grams and have a precise measurement. And that was actually perfect. On the first try, I zeroed my scale out. So now I'm just going to add 28 grams of this Parmesan cheese into the bowl as well. The next thing that we're going to do is season this. And you can really season this ground chicken literally any way you want. Since I don't have very many seasonings in the new apartment, we're just gonna go super simple. A little pepper, a little salt, and just a smidge of garlic powder, because garlic powder does have some carbs in it. But I did want a, a little bit of a garlicky flavor in this crust, and sorry I'm like on the edge. I'm trying to get good lighting and film, and then be, okay, you get it. So adding some pepper. Now adding some salt. And lastly, adding a little bit of garlic powder, but don't do super heavy because of the carbs. Now the next step is mixing this all together. What I'm going to opt to do is, since I have very clean hands, I'm just going to stick my hands in here and mix it all together and get it nice and mixed up into one awesome, delicious mixture. And holy moly, this chicken is so cold. Now that my ground chicken is a homogenized mixture, I'm going to set that aside and take my parchment paper and lay a sheet of parchment paper on a cookie sheet. And the last step of the crust is to literally just dump your crust out onto this cookie sheet and we're going to just press it down with our hands into a thin layer. But first I'm gonna try and salvage all the extra chicken out of this bowl. I just 
flattened my chicken crust into a bit of a square on this cookie sheet for some reason I'm not sure why but this time when I made this recipe this chicken was super sticky and it was like sticking to my hands and it was really hard to spread out when I made this before I did not have this much of an issue so I'm trying to figure out what the reason is I don't know if it was the type of chicken how ground it was I don't know but it's just a weird thing however I still was able to flatten it to a nice square anyways the oven just preheated so I'm going to open it up and stick this crust in and set the timer for 20 minutes I'll check on it then and I'll check in with y'all I'm making effective use of my time while this pizza cooks because I'm using my new Mansport strength bands and I'm putting them around my legs. And I was just standing here doing some like squats with them around my knees. Just getting a little workout in while my pizza cooks because I don't have anything else to do. So getting a little leg pump going on. Yeah, you can throw on some jumps if you're feeling Super excited? I don't know. Okay, I can't do the jumps. I'm too out of shape. Oh. I just took the crust out of the oven right here. Some spirit fingers because it's done. It took about 25 minutes for it to start getting a little bit golden on top. That means the crust is good to go and it's time to top it. So, the first thing that I am going to do is take my ragu pizza sauce there is only four carbs in one fourth of a cup. So I'm going to use just a little bit of sauce to spread around on my pizza. All right, sauce is done. The next step I'm going to do is add my mozzarella cheese on top. I love me some cheese. It's a problem. Might as well just use the rest of this bag up so I don't have to do anything with it. Now that the cheese is on, we're going to start adding all of our toppings. So first things first is I'm going to do some pepperoni because I love me some pepperoni. And this is the boar's head pepperoni because it's just delicious. So let's add some pepperonis on here. Next up, I have some bell peppers. I had to thaw these because they were frozen. And then I had literally one slice of ham left. So I decided to slice up the last piece of ham so I could use it before it went bad. Just going to sprinkle these on top. I love peppers and onions on my pizza, so I don't skimp out on those. Next up, we're going to do some chopped white onion. And the very last thing is some of these mushrooms. I'm going to pick out some of the smaller ones because these are some massive mushrooms that are in this little what is this a container so just gonna put a couple of these out on the pizza and it will be good to go so there you have it this is my topped pizza what we're going to do is stick it back into the 400 degree oven for about 10 minutes and it will be ready for consumption while the crust is cooking, I thought I would take a moment to show y'all how spoiled this dog is. He's been sitting in my bathroom crying because he wants me to turn the shower on just a smidge so that he can drink out of it. This literally happens two to three times a day. I just took the pizza out of the oven and oh my golly, does it not look absolutely freaking amazing. So what I'm going to do is let it cool for a couple minutes and then I'm going to slice it. I like to slice them into like long pieces and then in the middle, they're little like strips of pizza. 
I'm gonna let it cool down, then we'll give it a taste. First off, 10 out of 10 would not recommend wearing a white shirt while you cook pizza. I'm an idiot. I got pizza sauce down the front of it, so it's in the wash, washing right now. But anyways, let's get down to business. We are going to try this delicious chicken crust pizza. Mmm. Holy moly. This is so good. Oh my God. What would make this even better is it dipped in ranch because I just love ranch on my pizza. This is an awesome recipe. You can use that chicken crust as a base and you can do really whatever you want as the pizza toppings. You could do a buffalo chicken pizza. You could do a white pizza. You could do no sauce on your pizza if you're weird. I don't know. You just... You could do whatever you want with it. So you don't have to do the same toppings that I did, but you can definitely use that three ingredient crust and go ham on whatever you wanna stick on top of it. If you make this recipe, be sure to tag me on Instagram, at ksalome or at ksalome underscore fitness. Comment on YouTube, email me pictures. I love to see it when y'all make these recipes and it gives me ideas about different kinds of pizzas I can make too. I hope that y'all very much enjoyed this recipe. This is one of my favorites by far because pizza is just my favorite ever. Please give this a big thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel down below for a lot more recipes that will be coming y'all's way soon. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I'll see y'all again soon.